Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsports, ScooterWest.com. So maybe you want to navigate a city you don't know, get directions, um, other types of notification, which I do not encourage distracted riding while on a scooter, but there's many reasons why you might want to have your phone on your scooter. Uh, well, SP Connect is as the perfect solution. It's called the Moto Scooter Bundle. Part number from ScooterWest.com, 1945500. Pretty affordable and quality option to put your phone on the handlebars of your scooter, or specifically the mirror stem. So let's get right to it. I'll show you how to install this here. Um, in the past, I've covered the SP Connect phone mounting solution for your scooter. Well, SP Connect listened, I think, because now they have the Moto Scooter Bundle. Uh, this is definitely our two most popular SKUs all in one package, and it's the new SP Connect Plus. They even feature a 2023 Vespa on the back. So this is hot off the press. They just came out with this. I do like SP Connect. They're very, very quick to adapting to the latest phones and products. Um, I've always been using their products now for about a year and a half. I really, really like their products. Um, I'm not paid by them or anything, but we do happen to sell their products at ScooterWest.com. Of course, a lot of people go with the RAM mounts. Those are a tried and true solution. They give you a lot of adjustability. I'll give it to that. But this is a nice, clean setup. And the ScooterWest part number is 194-52500. And just search for Motor Scooter Bundle. So Moto Scooter Bundle. And we're going to open this up. Nice, tidy install. The cool thing is you have the path to upgrade to one of their cases if you want. So let's see what's in here. So you get some hardware, you get a little instruction. I'm not gonna bother reading those. This is all the new SP Connect Plus, so it's nice and compact and tidy. The most important part is what mounts it to the mirror stem. And this is just a simple mirror mount Standard, there's also a mirror mount pro sold as a separate item. That's all aluminum, a little bit more adjustable. But I, I almost like the mirror mount standard. It's just nice and compact, elegant, works really good. Uh, you wanna find the right spacer that goes around your mirror stem. Uh, on this 2023, it looks like we're gonna use the mid-size spacer right here. Just getting right into it, get it installed. And you just kinda open these little clamshells up. Works just like that. And of course they give you the Allen key to complete the whole entire install here. So it's got the smaller side. This kind of reminds me of Ikea if you ever shop there. They give you like one like this, a little crank style, not just the standard L. Um, open up that little half clam right there. And usually I'll put the gap on the bottom. The cool thing about this product is it's fairly affordable, but a very high quality solution for mounting your phone. Uh, yeah, there's cheaper stuff out there, but uh, are you really gonna put your $1,000 phone on your $9,000 nice new scooter? That's all, you know, might as well have the best stuff. And this isn't that expensive. So a lot of times I kind of get it just started, you know, where you can kind of move everything around That's pretty good right there. And this is the, the phone clamp itself. So the way this works, this little thing pulls right out. And it adjusts all the way down to like the smallest little iPhone mini up to a fairly large iPhone, most of the Samsung. If you have a Galaxy Note, it's probably gonna be a little bit too small. They do make a larger clamp. It's a separate SKU that we have available, but if you're buying the Moto Bundle, it works with, I don't know, 95% of the sizes of phones that are out there. So you see this little button on the back and you twist it on there. Well, it's kind of in a weird angle. I don't want it like that. I want it more, you know, like that. So, all right, so go ahead and remove this center fastener right here. Make sure you don't lose that little grub screw. It does have some and just go ahead and take this, it's on a spline underneath, and kind of have the slot approximately the angle that you want the phone. So let's give that a shot and see if that does a trick. So just reposition it, I'm gonna crank that down. 
and we'll try snapping this right in. So you just line up the two grooves just like that. Give it a shot with my phone. Let's see how this works here. And I kind of want to rotate a little bit towards myself. That is like pretty ideal. I like that setup right there. Um, take this back off and we'll go ahead and just do the final torque. And then of course you probably want to just keep this with the scooter if you ever want to make adjustments to it down the road. I just tested the identical setup on my uh, Vespa GTS. I rode out the Lake Havasu with the scooter Cannonball crew just for one day. I'm, I'm too lame to go all the way across the country, but it's still a good 900 miles over a weekend that I got the ride and it works really good the setup so you pretty much drop the phone right in there and it works really good you just tighten that up and snap that in there and the phone's like ready to go you could easily of course when you're at a stop and or pulled over you can mess with the phone and uh, change things out there's the most wonderful uh, sunrise in the world I captured it actually in Poway uh, hiking one morning at 4 or 5 a.m. so you know, phone works good. You even get the angle right. You know, like the, you know, take a take a photo while you're riding or something too. But ideally, you probably want to have navigation. You know, maps on here. So we're at the shop. You know, I can give you directions to wherever you want it to be. Let's go to uh, right there, and of course, you can set the drive or cycle, or even just turn off. Um, avoid highways and that's where you find the most ideal setup for a phone mount on a scooter. Of course I don't encourage any type of distracted driving but having a phone with navigation works really really well you know and so pretty nice setup and say you just want to go in say you need to make a quick stop nice and easy just comes right off like that that stays attached to your phone and you can put it underneath the seat when you're not using it but ideally if you really like the SB Connect stuff, you would uh, move on to their, uh, their cases as well. Here's an SB Connect Plus case. I've been using it for ever since they came out with the SB Connect Plus, all new system. If you have iPhones, it's such a thin case that the MagSafe works, so it, it's completely compatible with the MagSafe and there's accessories. But you pretty much get the case and there you go, just like that. And then when I want to take the phone with me, nice and easy. But the clamp that's included with the motor scooter bundle is an ideal setup because you're not obligated to use, you can use your own case as long as it's not too thick. The accessory bundle also includes this little uh, 3M, uh, very high bond adhesive little cap. The reason it has this is maybe you have a car with a flat surface or somewhere else where you want to mount a phone. I don't know if I'd trust this on a scooter, but it does include that little self-adhesive thing and this is the tool if you ever need to reset the uh, mechanism you know if it gets out of whack you could reset it with this little SB connect tool here all right so pretty simple install of course includes all the tools you needed uh, perfect solution for your phone I mean it doesn't get any better than this uh, the only advantage to a RAM is you definitely have a little more adjustability say you want to set your phone up to take a movie while you're riding and I'll tell you it doesn't work that well phones don't work that well when on a vibrating scooter and as for vibration affecting the cameras on the scooter, you know, scooters generally don't vibrate as much as something like a Harley Davidson or definitely like a single cylinder motorcycle. They have a motor that's directly mounted to the frame. They got a little bit of rubber isolation to them. Um, I've ridden with countless number of miles with just a standard mount without a vibration dampener, which we do have available as well for the SP Connect. Not really necessary with most scooters. Uh, they don't vibrate, they're pretty smooth rides. Until next time, Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Uh, check out our website, ScooterWest.com. Type in SP Connect and you can see everything that's available. Uh, works for pretty much any scooter if you, if you have the need to put your phone on your scooter.